Good afternoon. Right. If you don't know Steph Ed is, well, you're in for a very good surprise because uh, she's the woman of my dreams. And yeah, we'll be reacting to it. Uh, uh, nothing special either. Let's just get right into the video. Right, so the first video we've got here, Steph encounters uh, someone who's blown massive bubbles. Hello. I've come into town to pay my council tax over there and I've come over the war memorial and you'll never guess what's happening. A man blowing massive big bubbles. Can I video you blowing some bubbles please? Yeah, I was doing, getting the lighting right now la. Into there. Yeah, well, that was a beautiful video, but then uh, the ending had to ruin it. She thought this video was so good, she had to upload four different versions of it. I just sat on my phone at the kitchen table for 10 minutes while my dogs were like frisking and jollily lolling about. And then Toby just come over and shat on the floor. He didn't even, the doors are open, he could have went in another room and shat out of sight. No, right in front of me, right next to me. Is he taking the pure piss? So we're off to a good start. Uh, you know it's going to be a good video when Stephanie's annoyed. Has anybody got a dog or a shih tzu? Um, how can I train him to not shit inappropriately, please? He's been out in the garden. He had a wee wee. We had vast celebrations when he weed on order, on demand. It was like, wee wee. And he did. Well, I was over the moon. Then Lucy did a wee wee. Oh, brilliant. I said, oh, we come in. We'll have a good night. Then he goes and spoils it. I'm really annoyed. And I'll tell you for why I'm really annoyed. No, 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 no. It's not the problems I mind. It's not having a solution. If I had some wipes and tissue, wouldn't have bothered me. I'd have just said, you naughty little tinker. You naughty little tinker. Just like another dog I know. How would you pick dog shit up in your house when you literally haven't got something to pick it up with? That's what's doing me head in, no solution. Ian's cardigan. And to be fair, I have told him about six times not to leave it on the back of the kitchen chairs. No, best not. It'll get all stuck in the acrylic. Love you, bye. hasn't gone off has it one day i will get the perfect perfect parting shot i really 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 w well that was a beautiful end to a beautiful video now on to the next one named ian is doing my titans in afternoon i bring to you it's getting very 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 close to the end for me and ian and i'll tell you for why my darlings he's driving me round the bastard bend He's putting some air in the tyres now. Fucking hell. He's got his tongue out like that. While he's doing it, he looks like a right fucking dick. I mean, you can already tell this is going to be a good video by the general mood of a... Last... You yeah, alright? <laughs> Last night he, uh, You know, we get stuck in for the bar. We can't always afford a lot. We can't. And we'd saved up to get a bottle of Smirnoff. He comes in with the bags and I heard bang, crash, smash and fucking hell at the top of his voice and I knew, just knew what he'd smashed. He had lots of bottles, some of it was like just beer which was very cheap. Piss off you daft bastard! It's a crazy woman gone now, what was that for? Some of it was very cheap but no, he'd smashed the Smirnoff. All over the kitchen floor. Nor he said, wasn't my fault. Well, if it wasn't your fault, who oh, the fucking hell's fault was it? And he will not be wrong. He will not be wrong. If he leaves the freezer door open, which he does regularly, I didn't leave it open. You did, he, and you were the only fucker, are you? You did. But I didn't open it. It must have brushed open as I went past it. Well, I feel like me and Ian could be good mates. I think I'll drive over his fucking head while he's putting air in the tyres. 
Love you. Bye. Have a good look at him while his head's still round. It's going to be fucking flat one of these days. The next video will contain some disturbing imagery, so brace yourselves. I'm sorry about my red eyes. I've been up crying all night. What it was, I ordered a dinghy and two life jackets on Tesco Direct because I wanted them like for the raft race today. Right, sorry, I don't know whether to take this serious or not. I mean, I don't know if she's been crying all night over a raft race or it's just some makeup or something. So anyway, I ordered them and, and they come yesterday and I had to pick them up between 4 and 6 p.m. So I went round, I was all excited. And anyway, I went in, I went to the man, I said, can I have my delivery, please? And he said, oh, yeah, it's come out the back. Anyway, he went out the back and he come with, like, plastic bag, which I could see with the life jackets, I could just see. You could just tell, can you buy the shape of a package where it is? And a box, like a really big box. And I thought, well, it said it's a, a compact dinghy that you can, like, deflate and put away for easy storage so that was a really big box and anyway he brought them down he went easy packages and he read it off the list he said two life jackets and a set of wicker drawers <laughs> yeah that's that's I, I can't take it serious i didn't order that a set of wicker drawers i said i ordered some life jackets and a dinghy for the raft race he said, are you sure? I said, yeah, yeah, I'm sure, yeah. And it was like a queue of people and they all looked at him and he said, are you positive? And they all looked at me, waiting for my answer. Right, that's enough. We don't have to see every aspect of the situation. It was a queue of people looking at someone for the response and then looking at the other person when they replied. Old order two life jackets, the set of wicker drawers. Anyway, I said, I don't want the wicker drawers. He said, you have to take them. I had to go out and get Ian out the car to come and sort it out. I, to be honest, they were nice, like. You know, it would look lovely on the landing upstairs. Ian said, no. Nah. Stephanie said, no, nah, you, you don't need any more drawers. Anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do about the raft race today. If anybody's got a raft, a space on one of your rafts, can I come on, please? Right, on to the next video. All I can say about this one is it's uh, interesting. I bring to you my birthday, but it's not very friggin' happy. And I've got sandwich in my teeth, deal with it. Sorry. I was that I was having a happy day. Um I'd been to the gym. I'd done the kettlebells. Really broke my fucking kneecaps on. Jesus. And I thought, do you know, because I went to the gym all last week and because I'd cut down on what I was eating, I thought, I'm gonna get weird. Why? Why? Why do I do this to myself? Why? Like, I don't know if that's a speech impediment or something, but... In my head, I was 11 and a half stone. On the scales, I was 12, 12 stone fucking two. I felt like spitting on the scales, I did. I felt like going... <laughs> I did. I really did. I think these are the first signs of a mental person. Anyway, just that if I couldn't get any more pissed off, I got a, a phone call from Argos. Uh, can we speak to Stephanie Ed? I thought, oh God, because it's like one of my debts from when I was working. Um, we've tried to contact you three times. We couldn't go in touch. So that's added interest. I said, hey, there's no point putting interest on when I can't afford to fucking pay you in the first place. He said, I'm just telling you. He said, the first time we rang, you were at the bingo. I must have said I was at the bingo. <laughs> he said the second time you rang you couldn't hear us. And then the third time we didn't get any answer. So he went through the rundown. This, that and the other. And he said at the current rate that you're paying, it's going to take you 23 years to pay off. I thought, right, happy bastard birthday to me. Well, the rest of the video is just uh, Yaman and Asani. But uh, we've got the final video next where the plumber arrives. Hello, I bring to you 
I'm, I, I am gonna, I am. I'm gonna give myself some sort of mischief. I really, really am. I was in the house and Ian was here and I got a text off the plumber um, to come and look at, you know, my bathroom again to because I said I'd picked what I'd wanted, like sink and that. And then I text back and I went, oh yeah, I still want that, thank you. And I put a kiss by mistake. And then I sent a text saying, oh sorry. Because <laughs> you just press kiss, don't you? You do, whoever you text, nah, do kiss, kiss. It's like council tax, he's my council tax bill, kiss, kiss, whatever. And then he rang, he goes there, uh, when are you available, that can come and pick, like, you can show me exactly what you want. We can clarify it and all that. I said, uh, well, when are you available? He said, now. Bearing in mind, the fucking clip of me. Jam, jam is on. My hair hasn't seen a brush. For, I don't think my hair's seen a brush. And this, this, this. And Ian sat there. Anyway, he turns up. I said, you'll have to excuse the state I'm in. He said, all right. So it goes upstairs with him and he's like measuring up and all that. And I'm going, and I'm going, <laughs> all of that. Well, that is a bit weird. He was upstairs, not saying a fucking word, not a word. But it was me, I'd shout, what are you doing? <laughs> anyway, we walked down the stairs and the, the plumber was trying to explain something about something and he went, he said, so if you imagine it like that, like, I looked at and I looked at his hand, and I swear to God, I don't know if it's normal or right, but I had a vision of putting my tit in his hand. All right, well, uh, Steph, I, I don't even I don't even want to question it. I'm moving on. Are, are, they, are they called fantasies or what? <laughs> and then I looked down, and all I could see was the back of Ian's ball dead on the couch. So that sort of quashed that. That just makes the situation better. Uh, anyway, then Ian goes, did I give you your bank card back? So looking all over for it. He goes, oh, I'll have to go and look down the cafe bar. I said, all right then. I said, why don't you have a look in the car first? It might have gone under the seat, my darling. Because I said, when did you have it last? I, I said, don't tell me you don't know. Just sit and think before you say you don't know. So we sat and thought it through. He's, and then it's the oh, age old... I gave you it back to me. I said, when did you give me back? Hmm? He said, last night in the car. I said, last night in the car when? He said, on the way home, after the takeaway. I said, you gave a pissed person in the pitch black dark a card to take care of. Okay, okay. I thought, I'll, I'll go with this. I'll go with this. So we went through all my pockets and shit and handbag and all that. <laughs> I said, have a look under the car seat in the car. He goes, all right then. Goes, gets in the car. I hear you the car start. So I jumps up. Like shit. Off a hot stick. Straight to the window. Now he is reversing out the street. And I'm banging on the window. Come here, come here. Because if... It, 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 where the fuck was he going? I was like that. I couldn't calm myself. So I rang him. Luckily he answered because if he hadn't answered, see all the stuff on the window ledge there? I was going to start chucking it through the window out of sheer. I don't know this. I, I was. Anyway, luckily he came back. He said, I said I was going to the cafe bar. I said, you didn't. I said, I said you were going to look under the chair for the card you gave to a pissed person in the middle of the fucking pitch black of night. But you didn't say you were going to the coffee bar. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to lie. That was quite funny when I first watched it through. He said I did. I had to calm down then because I thought I don't want to die. So I took a deep breath and then I said, right. The reason I didn't want you to go to the cafe bar yet, Ian, because if you were gone, I would like you to pick my things up for my gig on Monday night, if that's okay. Not that I wanted him to go to the cafe bar, but if he was gone anyway, he might as well get it and kill two bastard birds with one fucking stone. And then I'd calm down. As quick as I'd flared up, I calmed down. And then I seen the funny side of it, and I seen him just stood there, like... And I started laughing. 
start, I said, hey, Ian, I'm really sorry. I said, it's just that you drive me round the twists and I can't help it. He said, well, I know, I'm sorry that that you didn't hear me say I was going to the cafe bar. Well, that was it. I nearly popped a fucking blood vessel there and then. I said, you didn't say you were going to the cafe. Cunting, bastard, bar, shitting, shutting, shoppy. Well, there's the question answered. It is the funniest video so far. Anyway, I feel a bit calmer now. I'm going to go and lie down. In the field, I think. Just in the field. I'm not going to get dressed or anything. I'm just going to go and lay in the field. They'll see me one and they'll say, there's that fucking woman off the uh, that Facebook. Round the, finally gone round the fucking bend. Finally. Well, if I have, we all know who's drove me there, my darlings. Love you. Bye. You shut the shit up and I'll lose it. Well, that ends the video there. I mean, imagine if Ian never existed. Imagine how uh, Stephanie Ed's life had come to be. The outro will be using one of Stephanie Ed's songs because she is a songwriter, so see you later. Heating up fridges, cooling in the sun. Stab the turf with my hand, the day is nearly